Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes back with another one, guys. So, Magic Empire Glo Global Limited, M E G L. Is it game over, guys? I know a lot of you is on edge right now, skeptical, shaking, shaking in your boots because you didn't want to listen to Hayes. You didn't want to take Hayes' advice. Now, it's dawning on you because somebody hit me up in the last video like, dang, I wish I would have watched this video last night. Because last night's video, they know I gave them exact coordinates of what was going to happen today with 100% confidence. And he like, dang, I wish I would have watched that video. I would have made bukus of money if I would listen to you. And I would have saved myself a shitload of money. That's basically what they said. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. And let me share my opinion if I believe Magic Empire Global Limited is game over or not. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we ended at $106. Well, it's still trading in after hours at $106. Up over, up 16% today, dropped 6% in after hours, guys. So crazy, crazy day. As we know, a lot of people expected this thing that went up over 2,000% on Friday alone. They expect for it to open up on Monday and go up another 2,000%. That's what all the comments, that's what everybody was saying, every single body. They couldn't wait to get in it. I tried to warn them, I tried to tell them, but they'll look at me as a hater. Oh, he's just hating. He's hating because, you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know what, what, why I would have to hate when I'm here to try and protect and warn you guys. You feel me? And sometimes I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. Let me go ahead and throw that out there. I'd be wrong. I'd be wrong a lot. But I'd be right more times than not. And whenever your wins is bigger than your losses, you're going to lose in this game. You ain't, ain't nobody in the stock market. You can't name not one person that haven't been wrong multiple times. Got a track record of being wrong, just like they got a track record of being right. But long as that person show their self to be right more times than they're wrong, and your portfolio, you know, you also got to have a, a, a system implemented because you just can't go in on every play that these people was talking about. I already told you guys, you got to home in and distract, take out a lot of the, the noise that's around you. A lot of the news, a lot of this different stuff that be going on is just noise. When really the only thing you need to be paying attention to is that price action, that volume, the momentum of that play, especially when it's a volatile play and the the entry exit play like this one such as so like i say guys these plays is meant to just take the meat of the move get your money and move along move along if anybody tell you otherwise now them who you should be uh hating on because they trying to just just lead you blind so anyways guys as we look at uh megl as i told you guys on today this bad boy was definitely going to come down. It was over. It was extremely hype. The community behind it is strong, though. But I told you guys it's going to die out. I bet that community isn't as strong now. It's still strong. They look and they wonder what's going on because a lot of people got stuck. But it's not as strong and as confident as it was once before. Some people still, you know, saying it's going to go to thousands of dollars. But I don't think it's likely, guys. But if it do. You won't be able to say I missed out because like I told you guys, I made my money out of the middle of the day from the exact plan that I told you guys to follow. And then now you got house money, house shares that you can just let two on ride for free. And if it go to 5,000, 3,000, like you say, that's 10 bands on free money. Nothing, I ain't have no emotions involved. I ain't care if it went down, I don't care if it went up, I don't care if it went sideways because I didn't deal what I did because I want that script. I want to. Be, I want that calculated risk, that that, that system intact, to where I know I'm about to make my money. I ain't sitting back waiting and hoping retail investors barge in and run the price up. Nah, I'm going to wait till it run up like hell. If I don't get in before, because we know I get in on the ground floor too. Look at Upstart. Look at Carvana. Look at, uh, I ain't going to tell you that one because that's when we got a video on that one next. But anyways. We get in on the ground floor, but if we don't get in on the ground floor, it's called chasing once it done took off. So only opportunity I see with that stock is a dip buy. And the only dip buy I'm going to buy if it drop drastically. If it run up to 250 and it pull back $10, $20, that ain't no dip buy. If it run up to 250 and it pull back to 60 to $80, like I told you guys it would, just exactly came down to $86. Now that's a deal buy, and that's what I'm gonna get in and take advantage of the move. I know it's not, I'm not looking for it to bounce all the way back to 250, 200, went nowhere near it. I just needed to drop drastically like that and for it to drop the uh the bounce from 80 back to 100, 125 dollars. 125 that's the max, and that's 45 dollars on the share price. That's almost a uh 
what that is, 50% return within minutes. So that's the type of uh, movements I'm looking for. Taking a piece of the meeting to move, taking advantage of the stock, guys. So is it game over for Magic Empire Global Limited, guys? If it's, it may not be game over, meaning it can definitely, you know, tomorrow as it's in the hundreds, it's gonna come back down, retest that $80 range. And it actually, you know, it came down to my price target. I said 80, it came to 86, but it definitely wanted to come down even lower. Like it gave you the benefit of the doubt today. It's ready to come down lower than that. It's ready to come between that 60 and 80. Exactly like I said, it was a $6 above it today, but it's ready to come down exactly to what I was stating. And once it do so, of course, that's why I want to say it's game over. Because once it come down that low, of course it's going to bounce. It's going to go from 60 to 60, between 60 and 80, back to over 100. And once it go over 100, it could possibly hit two again. And when it hit two, 250, 220, it's going to come right back down. It's going to come right back down. And eventually, when they do that enough times, the the people is going to the people that done made their money that was smart got their money at the beginning. They done went to other plays. Another play done took off. Done heated up. And this place is steady dying down. Steady dying down, killing them off one by one. And then you look like, man, what happened? Where everybody went? Boy, I thought it was going to go to 3,000, 4,000. And you know, and you know, and you'd be like, dang, man, I got to just start listening to Hayes. But nah, not saying it like that. Don't just listen to me. I told you, don't really listen to nobody. But you feel me? You really want to listen to your own intuition, your own self. You just want to listen to me until you get on your own feet. You get what I'm saying? I'm even gonna tell you that. Most of you two gonna tell you, oh, listen to me the whole time. Nah, listen to me to get on your feet. Once you get on your feet, you need to really be going off yourself. That's why anybody don't, can't never say I'm copying nobody or none of that. You know they used to say that, my haters? I can't copy nobody. I'm too much myself. I'm too, ain't nobody, ain't nobody doing it like this. You get what I'm saying? If they is doing it like this, I don't know about it. Cause I ain't watching nobody. <laughs> I'm gone, man. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Add your boy on Instagram at the Behave Show. You definitely want to get up in that VIP. VIP been going crazy. VIP been going phenomenal. We talking 120% days within minutes. Yesterday, the day what we made like 100% within minutes. It's hold on. I I talk. I know. I know what I'm gonna do. I got something for that. But yeah. Anyways, guys, like I say, you definitely want to be uh, smart and meticulous out here because people will try to mislead you. And I want y'all to be protected. You already know, man. I love y'all. Add your boy up on that Instagram at the Behave Show. We dropping motivational content over there. We dropping stock market content. We dropping hot plays. We dropping all that. But if you're on YouTube, you can get hot plays over here. But really over there on Instagram, that's the motivation. I love y'all. God bless you. We go.